I have always been uneasy driving alone at night. It was worse the first few times, when I had just gotten my license. But the nagging fear has never gone away to this day. It's disorienting to look into the mirrors and see nothing. And I mean nothing but the consuming blackness of the night. It makes me hesitant to check the mirrors should I see this dark void. Or worse, someone sitting in my back seat, staring at me. In the summer of 2013, I find myself driving home alone on Highway 902 from a party. It was almost midnight, and needless to say, it was pitch black. As was usual at night, I was on edge. I had the radio off, and I can hear nothing but the muffled roar of tires on pavement, and the dull hum of the engine. I stole a glance in the middle rearview mirror, and saw nothing but darkness through the back window. I know that I looked backward and saw nothing, I'm sure of it. Just the seemingly endless blackness of night. I remember it so clearly because not 10 seconds later, a car passed me to the left, headlights on. I had one of those sudden adrenaline rushes, like when you think you see a person outside your bedroom window when it was just a tree, or when you start to awake at night with the feeling of falling. 10 seconds earlier, nothing had been behind me. Suddenly, a car. I drove all the way home shivering and knowing something was off. The next morning, I found two sets of scratches near the back of my van. One was on the left rear, one was on the right. The car was pretty old. They could have been there for months, but that was the first time that I distinctly remember seeing them. In hindsight, there are two possibilities for what happened that night. Possibility one, by some glitch in reality or something paranormal, this other car somehow appeared behind me within 10 seconds of me checking my mirror. Like some weird ghost crap or something. However, the second option is what makes my blood run cold whenever I consider it. It didn't even occur to me until months after the fact. But it makes me dread driving alone at night even more. Possibility two. The car was normal. It had approached me from the rear and passed me to my left. However, something large and wide and as black as the night had been clinging to the rear of my car, obscuring my view through the window and leaving deep scratches on the sides. And I had inadvertently driven it home with me. Do you ghouls like my vlogoween and slate? I think it's cute. Um, I'm going to use this for my not regular videos, like my not my Monday or Friday video, but all the videos that I'm doing in between for the month of October. This is the end slate I am going to use. So let me know if you ghouls like this. And I hope that you ghouls are excited for Vlogoween. I'm going to do my damnedest. I actually have a, a couple's tag recorded of me and Mr. Ghoulish Guy. So, yeah, you can get to know us better, perhaps. Give suggestions on what you would like to see for the rest of the month. Because honestly, other than like micro pastas and a few like vloggy type things in between i have no idea so give me some ideas of what you would like to see if you want us to do i don't know challenges or tags or anything like that just leave it in the comment section and that will be the question of the day is what would you like me and or my husband to do for vlogoween but as always the last video, which there is none right now, will be on the top left. Next video will be on the bottom left. And all my social medias are on the screen, as well as in the description box below. And remember, there's always someone or something watching you.